And we got to start with the banks. Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, both of those banks rising to the upside today on upbeat earnings results. You're looking at gains for Bank of America of just about 4.5%. Morgan Stanley closing up just over 6%. When it comes to Bank of America here at Kiko, very solid results from the bank. Net income up 19% from a year ago. Revenue rising 11%. We heard from their CEO, Brian Moynihan, last hour. He was very optimistic, listing out a number of reasons to be optimistic about his banks. And you can make the argument more broadly for the larger banks here for the second half of the year. Yeah, best first half revenue in a decade. And certainly uh, we heard from Brian Moynihan uh, pointing to the optimism, at least going into the second half of the year. You know, it was interesting to me, Shauna, how much he talked about the consumer and the strength that he has been seeing there. Talked about it this morning, saying that he, you know, despite the slower economy, consumers remain strong. And earlier in that conversation with our Brian Sazi, saying, you know, even when you look at delinquencies that's still below the 2019 levels, that points to the fact that consumers are still doing well. Yes, they don't necessarily have the kind of savings that they had at the height of the pandemic because of some of the funds they were getting in, but they, it's still not depleted in that there is still some a lot of spending that is going on on that front too so so bank of america obviously more consumer facing than some of the other big banks um and it sounds like at least brian moynihan feels like that could be a big benefit uh, moving forward uh, shares of pinterest ending the day higher up after an upgrade from evercore isi analyst mark mahaney citing several reasons for the upgrade including the stabilizing ad market. Um, specifically, Shauna here, you talked about the signs of digital ad spending, the strength they're going into the second half of the year, but he also talked about the turnaround that uh, Pinterest has been seeing under new CEO Bill Reddy and that a lot of those changes he's made are starting to take hold. Yeah, and this is the first time we see Mark Mahaney bullish on Pinterest in just over two years. His new uh, price target here for the stock is a street high. So certainly uh, turned the corner, at least he thinks Pinterest has turned the corner with some of its troubles. We know Pinterest has lagged many of its social media peers in terms of the gains that they have seen since the start of the year. But Mahaney making the point that he's seeing some strength within the digital ad market, saying that there is a distinct probability of material revenue growth acceleration, also substantial mar margin expansion over the next two to four quarters. We know that Pinterest has had a very tough several months. They announced some restructuring, layoffs, closing offices. So with all the changes that they have made and also with the fact that the ad market, at least in Mahaney's view, is stabilizing just a bit, he thinks Pinterest is certainly uh, set up for future success here and well-positioned uh, going forward in the remainder of the year. Let's also take a look at Chipotle because that stock on the move today, trading higher up just about 1%. The restaurant chain had some big news. It's expanding its stores here into the Middle East, into Kuwait and Dubai. We know of two locations right now, but the big reason as to why I think analysts are bullish about this announcement is because it's first foray into the franchise model. So they're expanding into the Middle East. They're doing this through its first ever franchise partner. So what that signals in terms of maybe future locations in the area certainly has a number of analysts excited. Yeah, I mean, you have to wonder, you know, the Middle East may be the first stop, but how many other opportunities there are, particularly in market like Asia, for example, if they are moving forward on that franchise model. Interesting point to make here, Shauna, in terms of the franchise owner, the franchise group they are working with, they are already in on the biggest U.S. names. That includes Starbucks, Shake Shack, as well as American Eagle Outfitters. So uh, certainly in good hands, it sounds like. But it's going to be interesting to see how they do, uh, at least in that market, or at least in those two markets they're pushing into. Yeah, certainly. Wells Fargo was bullish on this announcement. They raised their price target to 2,400, maintaining their overweight rating. So they're seeing upside of about 12% from the current levels.